Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a pickup video and this pickup video could have been a lot bigger but what happened was I live in Texas and it's really hot and my AC did not break but it had some problems and the worst case would be in my previous startup I worked at we actually didn't have air conditioning for about a week and that meant no employee was ever doing work because how can you do work when it's 95 degrees? So to prevent that, you know, a week of salary, I figured, you know, okay. I got a 20,000 plus dollar AC, two AC units. Uh, they're called two stages and there's a 12 year warranty on them, parts and labor. So I am long story short, I'm a little out of money, otherwise I would be buying like crazy, but I'll tell you very clearly what I'm buying. I'm buying rares from Legends. It doesn't matter what the rare is, it doesn't matter if it's good or not good. I've been able to pick these up at reasonable prices. People are not expecting that they're going to get full retail from it. And definitely one way I can convince them is I showed them the buy list and the buy list is still very, very not great. Now, reserve list. So, Elven Riders was reprinted in Chronicles, I believe. It's as a white border variant, but the Legend one is a rare and extremely valuable. Reserve list cards, just go ham, just go ham on all the reserve list cards. And if there's old, okay, so reserve list, if it's a land, love it, always pick it up. If it's old on a reserve list, even better. Uh, stag. So these cards that people have, you're not going to really find a, all these stores in Houston know what's going on. I mean, it's been going on for some time now. You might ask, why is it going on? Maybe Rudy, maybe not Rudy, who, who really knows? Maybe it's actually a, a legit format, although I'd, I'd have trouble believing that still. Regardless, I'm not going to argue it, I'm just going to ride out this camera is actually very interesting. It's picking up uh, Blake's face. Now, this dude, obviously Stag is like semi-playable. This dude is not. I'm still picking him up and I'm paying a lot of money for these cards. And I'm okay with that because the more of these rares from Legends that you have, the better off you're going to be. Uh, next, Mox Opal. Uh, Mox Opal was a very interesting card. I actually had a bunch of them hidden away, but I'm also picking them up because I need to pick them up in play sets. So I have an extra one. This is the, I love this type of card, although it will be reprinted soon. I'm positive of this fact. I like it because you can trade, when you trade away one of them, you trade aw away four. And it makes it a ton easier for me to get rid of them. Of them. Uh, this one is very pricey in case you guys care. Also on the quote unquote reserve list, Lotus Veil, vale, you guys know I love that card. Reserve list, Winding Canyon on the reserve list. So I, if I had my $20,000 back, which I don't, I would put all the money into Legends Rares and reserve list land. And you think I'm kidding, but I am not kidding. Um, the AC, like I have been on vacation and you know, I, I've been spending money like crazy because I bought my company back and then I wouldn't pay for 120 days because that's what a buyout is. You just have to save every penny to buy it as large of equity share as possible. And man, I, I missed like, you know, if I had the money sooner, I would have bought out way more. Now here is like my minor pickups. These are not, these are kind of major pickups. I would say the Opals are, I picked up for 80 a piece, which is not bad. I think retailed at 100. I think this is probably, if I had to guess, what do you guys guess? I mean, the Hollow was expensive. I know, I know this one was the most. That one's over like 100. Uh, regardless, I'll show you some stuff. Mystic Degrees on the reserve list. Uh, any of these old cards. I think this one. Oh, I picked these up. I got these very cheap. The coin flipping mechanic is now becoming something and quote retail. Again, a lot of these prices I'm going to talk about are fake because they're post spike, but this is $12 post spike. I found a bunch of these in the bulk. 
these are worth some money. I This is not worth money, but it confused me because I read it and I said, wow, this card is amazing. There, there's players in my EDH group that do not have creatures in their deck. They just combo off or take infinite turns, and this is really, really good. I mean, like, am I reading it? Why is this not good in EDH? Each player chooses a card in his or her hand, then each player reveals his or her chosen card. Oh, okay, I, I see. It's all players. It's, you don't get to pick your target opponent. Uh, I think this is on a reserve list as well. This is always a good card. Now, I did find these in bulk. Oh, let me talk about this one first. So, coin flipping, in case you have missed it, this little coin flipper that can co flip infinite coins, you just stack the triggers upon itself, is now worth a bunch of money. It used to be worth five cents, now it's worth five, ten, who knows like where it ends up at. And then this card. I just thought the artwork was really cool. And, you know, I'm still doing the altars and stuff, and, you know, I, I gotta accumulate a lot of the same card that may or may not be played. And I found that sometimes it's better to go with a card that is not being used that much. So this card's very good in EDH because you have 40 life instead of 20 life. So 10 life is not that big of a deal. But these are my pickups. I am looking to pick up more like a lot more. When I mean a lot more, I mean five figures collections. And I know where they are and I want them. It's just that the $20,000 plus, it wasn't just $20,000, it's $20,000 and then there's like a maintenance thing and then there was some things. That, that, that. Suffice it to say, it cost a lot of money to get my two ACs fixed today. I would have took that money and bought exactly what I told you to buy. Reserveless land. Land is good. Reserveless is good. The older the land, the better. And or rares from Legends. And that's pretty much it. Um, I, I mean, it's a pretty easy formula. You don't have to be a genius, right? Like it's super obvious what will go up in price and super obvious what will not, which is modern cards, by the way. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.